I'm thinking, you know, if if he was going for like the ugliest car award. <laughs> Steering wheel, you think that's I don't point? dig that at all either. I don't know what that is about. What's going on with the tow hook I don't know either. Front. But it looks like he's got like... I don't care for that yellow color on that car, that crap yellow or something, I don't know. Welcome back to another episode of Roasting Your Cars. This is a very special episode because we have my dad. Dad, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Dale Stone. I've worked at John Deere for 27 years as a maintenance mechanic. I've retired and moved down to Hot Springs, Arkansas. So what'd you work on, forklifts? And... Well, we did a little bit of everything. I was also a forklift mechanic for a number of years, but a lot of uh, hydraulic punch presses, mechanical punch presses, conveyor systems. Sick, all right. Like that. So what we're gonna be doing is roasting and reviewing your cars that you guys sent in to us. Uh, so before we get started, Dad, I was curious, what's your favorite car that I've owned and least favorite car that I've owned? I think the Supra's a favorite. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. And maybe the Camaro, the least favorite. Really? I would have yeah. thought that, I was curious that the Camaro might have been your favorite. Why is that your least favorite? It just needed so much. You yeah. Know? yeah, it, it needed it a lot. It was a project of... car. It had a good yeah. paint job. It had a great paint job, but that was about where it ended. And it was a six cylinder. And that yeah. Was, that was about it. Yes. Alrighty, cool. So let's start getting into this. And uh, first up, we have Shane and his 2016 Subaru WRX. And uh, this thing has a lot going on. It's mm -hmm. pretty busy. So. Let's see, he said, this car was bought stock, uh, second owner. I've done all the aesthetics myself and wrenching was all done by me. I've replaced the motor multiple times due to water. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Like one time I think I could understand, but multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. What is going on? I, I think that's an excuse. These Subarus blow up a lot. <laughs> so I think he's just saying that. Oh, he did say bad tune as well. Uh, got a bunch of bolt-on modifications here uh, under the hood and that's about it. One inch wheel spacers. That's kind of huge to put on for okay. a wheel spacer yeah. in a car. That's a lot. So let's get looking at the pictures here. All right. So for me, this is a bit gaudy. He's got a sticker on there that says Street Warrior. A little tacky for me along with those spike lug nuts. That's a lot going on. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it is. Do you like that style? Is that something you'd be driving around? I'm not interested in, t I don't know what that is, a sun? Uh, shine on the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the. It looks like the rising sun, like yeah. the Japanese. Yeah, flag. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just a really busy. The triple canard setup on the front bumper yep. as well with those three M'd, and then I don't know what's going on with the tow hook in the front. I don't know either. Indeed. But it looks like he's got like a four inch extension. Yeah. On that thing. Uh, yeah, Subarus. Oh, he got oh, the wow. red splatter yeah, on the little... wheels too. Obviously, I'm not the biggest fan of Subarus. I don't mind seeing them. I don't want to own one though because they have so much mechanical problems they're known yeah, for just kind of popping and blowing up what are you thinking about it i think i'm gonna pass on it i'm not a real fan of that car even with the uh, blood spatters on the rims <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's rate it out of 10 10 being all-time awesome. best car you've ever seen one being the absolute worst um i'm gonna go ahead and give it a four i like that he tried to modify it i just don't like the modifications he did I'm gonna say 5.2, oh, okay. just because I, I know he worked hard on it. Yeah, you know? yeah. They're not my style, not what I'd go for, but uh, he definitely put some work into it. Man, I didn't know you were such a softie. Well, he was in the floods a lot too, I <laughs> yeah, think. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. to deal with a lot of floods, that's a good point. All right, moving on to car number two, we have Chris Mangold, and what does he have here? He has a Tesla. Oh. What are your thoughts on EVs? You like the electric cars? Ever I, know? you know, I don't know a whole lot about them. Yeah, I haven't seen too many. That's a really oh, cool trunk wow. setup yeah. that he has in there. Yep. Look at the huge monitor I that know. these cars what is come going with. On with that? That's the wow. touch screens that come in there. So let's see. He's from San Diego, California. It has AirTech air suspension, Koenig countergram wheels. Um, it's wrapped yellow, so that's a, a vinyl wrap on the outside okay. to make it that color. And then it has some carbon pieces as well, and then a custom yoke steering wheel. So I know the Tesla plaids okay. come with yeah. that, but uh, that's a custom one. This isn't a plaid. Um, what do you think of that yoke steering wheel? You think that's I don't like? dig that at all either. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. It's an electric guy. Yeah. They, they like doing everything a little bit different. Overall, though, I mean, I can't roast it here. I think they, they look kind of neat. Like I think it looks plain in the front. Yeah. That whole front end, it looks... Yeah, because there's no grill yeah, or anything. nothing in there. Because you don't need the air to really right. you know, cool the engine down, obviously. Um, 
What do you think about cars that are slammed down like that? Do you like them real low? Do you think they look good or do you like them? I don't like them that low. Oh. No. Why not? not? Well, they're, if you watch them wherever they're driving, they're hitting. They're <laughs> bottoming out on everything. Yeah. You know? It does have the air rides. You get air it up, but yeah, yeah you, you right. do hit stuff. It's going to happen. Um, as for this, I think I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give it an eight, honestly. Ooh, yeah. I, I like it. I think it's well done. I love the trunk setup. I think he killed that it. That trunk that's in the, is clean. Sorry, Look how that's the front. That's the front. Oh yeah. So that is so clean the way they've got everything set in there. Yep. Really looks nice the way they did it. I don't care for that yellow color on that car. That's kind of a <laughs> calf crap yellow or something. I don't know. I don't care for that color at all. All right, piss yellow Tesla. Yeah, and I don't like the front end. So I'm going to stay at about six. Six. So you yeah. only slightly like it more than the Subaru we've seen right. before. Okay, interesting. Alrighty, next up we have Devon. This is an interesting one. Oh, I don't know if you're ready. Yeah. This is the Moo Mobile. It was a two hundred dollar car. Alrighty, um, he bought it so his wife could learn stick shift. And uh, I, I don't know the rest of the story here, but let's check it out. Um, what is this? What kind of car is this even? Uh, I don't know. Some type of Ford. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. But it's got a pink valve cover that looks like an udder, so I think that's kind of <laughs> cool. Uh, the, the cowl wrap design. What do yeah. you think? Is this something you'd drive? I'm thinking, you know, if, if he was going for like the ugliest car award, <laughs> I could give him that. But oh my gosh. I, I picked this because you're from Wisconsin, so I thought <laughs> I know, you'd like the, it. The old Holstein wrap. <laughs> yeah, the Holstein wrap. Um, I'll give this one a 3 out of 10. Okay, I'm going to go about. Two, five. The only reason I gave it three is because I kind of like the pink valve cover <laughs> as the udders. I think that's pretty creative. It looks like a Ford Taurus. <laughs> something, something like that, it? like an early gen Ford Taurus. Yeah. I don't know. All right, next up we have Mike and his Evo 10. I actually used to have one oh, of these now. Oh, yes. Um, this is the gray one. This is a 2014 Evo GSR, so that means it's the manual. Full bolt-ons, so he's making some decent power. Custom E85 tuned at 425 wow. horsepower. These are all-wheel nice, drive, so nice. that gets down in boogies. Full carbon fiber body kit. Wow. On wow. Tain Springs, gutted rear seat delete. So he got rid of the rear seats, and yeah, you can see all the carbon fiber mm -hmm. bits. You know what's actually funny that I learned when I had mine, but the stock hood is actually lighter than a carbon oh, fiber. Oh, really? Thing. The carbon fiber actually adds a little bit of weight. So it's more just aesthetic. Um, yeah. yeah. For me, I like carbon fiber, but man, it starts getting to be too much, I think. Oh, when yeah. You, yeah. you imagine you get a fender bender in this thing, you'd be paying freaking yeah. 20 grand oh. to fix all this crap up. Um, but it, it still, it looks decent. I'm a big fan of Evo 10s. I like the engine bay there. Um, you got a lot of colors kind of going on. You got the gold, you got the neochrome stuff on, mm -hmm. and then the car is black with goldish wheels. Dark gold. These Avid One wheels, very cheap wheels. Uh, I would refer to those as a beginner set of oh. wheels. You can pick those up for just uh, you know a few hundred bucks. We got the pink banners, a lot of colors going on. Too many colors, too much carbon. I think if you dialed it back a bit and got a different set of wheels, this could That's be That's what I was car. thinking. Different wheels would be night and day different on that car. Yeah, and, so. And, and make a lot better. Otherwise, there's not a lot to, I mean, it's just like one color. Yeah, it you all know, kind not of a lot to it. Blend. It opens it up. And, and I, I'm a stickler. I hate when people do stuff on the, the gas cover yeah. cap because yeah. gas covers are meant to be hidden into the vehicle so you don't really notice them. It's a utility, something you yeah. need in the car. And then when people make them stand out, it drives me nuts because it's mm. not meant to stand out. And I don't think it looks good when it does stand out. Uh, I don't know. I, I When I had mine, I really enjoyed it. I don't know. Do you remember that car? Yes, I do. Didn't have it for a long time, but uh, I was like 19 when I had it. And all my friends thought that you bought it for me. Did no. you buy it for me? No, not at all. <laughs> Hell no. Not at all. There. I wouldn't buy you that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now that we cleared the air on that, I feel a bit better. Uh, what would you rate this out of 10, Dad? I'm going to say that's my favorite. I mean, I oh. know he's put a lot of work into it. A lot, a of, lot money. of money. Yeah. A lot of money. I wish he had a little more money in the, the wheels on it and stuff. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to say eight. Hella broke. Eight? Wow. Okay. Yes. All right. I'll give this one... It's close. Like like mm -hmm. I said, dial it back just a little bit, and I think it could be really nice. I'd even maybe paint 
some of the carbon parts and then That's maybe do thought, partial maybe. exposure yep. you know leave some spots like some of the vents or some mm -hmm. carbon fiber even the hood could really do well from that so uh, i'll give it a seven and i think if you dial the back change a couple things up it could be a nine really easily even though it's evo 10. okay all right next up the final car that we got Ooh. this is a big one i don't know if you know anything about these they're interesting it's a honda well, actually, it's an Acura. It's Nathan's 1992 Acura NSX. He put wow. hand Honda badges on it. Um, that's a JDM thing. So in Japan, the cars came with Honda badges. In okay. America, they were labeled as Acuras. Um, so some people like to make Switch it look more Japanese. Forth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bought the car in late August of 2022 and drove it from LA back to Pennsylvania where it lives now. That's that's a haul. That's a haul. Uh, the car, it's pretty loud and there's VTEC, so that's neat. Um, it has Ray's Volk Racing ZE40 wheels. Very expensive wheels. Nice, good pick. Project Moo brakes, um, exhaust, tune injectors. The wing and the hood are a different color. All right. Oh, it's carbon fiber. So this car has some carbon oh, fiber yep. bits on it as well. So as you can see, this is like the expensive version of the Evo. Like, this is what the Evo 10 could have done. I feel like this is it more dialed yeah. back. You still have yeah. some bits in there, but it's not all over and plastered. It's a good looking car. It, yeah. It's, it's kind of neat with the calipers, how they're a bright blue. So you have some color that pops there. I think NSXs are really cool cars. So the engines in the back, back. of those um which makes them handle really well uh but otherwise it's kind of like an accord engine that's in it. it's a naturally aspirated six cylinder uh what do you think of this what do you think of these i think it's nice i like the lines on that car mm -hmm. when you're looking at it from the side uh tire or the wheels on it again i don't Not see big much for the color oh, okay Not, you know i think if a little different brighter color or something maybe would sure sure but that's just my color preference on there i think it looks a little dark yeah but it's yeah. A sh definitely a sharp looking car what do you think an nsx goes for like how much money Ooh. you have to buy one of these for what would you just guess? i mean are, what year are you talking about these are like uh they they came out like 1990s to early 2000s so a new price on it no or like what would you pay for price. today if i had so to these go are look gonna have for like seventy thousand yeah, miles on it something I'm like that say, Eighteen thousand. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna be paying about eighty thousand. Nah, I wouldn't. I'd be, I'd be driving that Holstein. <laughs> You'll go get the Mumu yeah. car for two hundred bucks. Yeah, these have really gone up wow. and uh, become like a collector's car. Oh, it's a sharp looker. Yeah, 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 they are fantastic looking cars. They're not fast by any means, oh. but they're good handling, good driving, okay. good looking, and they've yeah. just aged like fine wine. Um, so this car, I mean, I don't have a lot to roast about it other than he paid probably 60 grand, 70 grand mm. for a Honda Accord, um, with the engine in the back. Um, so I'm going to give this a nine. What about you? What would you rate this? I think, uh, 8.7. Oh, yeah. That's your highest rated that one. That is my huh? highest rated. The only thing is, I don't think either of us would fit in it too well. They have really no. low roof lines. I was and... waiting to see the interior. Yeah, I, yeah. send us some damn interior pics next time. Well, thanks, Dad. I appreciate you coming you on. Taking a look at good these. Time. Yeah. Um, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below what you'd rate these cars. And if you want to see my dad in some more episodes, just let me know and we'll, we'll hook it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All righty. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. out.